Hi, my name is Curtis Whitson. I'm a professor at the Institute for Petroleum Technology at the Norwegian uh, University of Science and Technology, NTNU. And uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about a teaching uh, approach that I've used the last four or five years. Uh, I call it tablet teaching with video recording. A little bit about my, uh, <clears throat> my background. I was born and raised in Oklahoma. Uh, had a bachelor's degree in engineering at Stanford University and then pretty much directly thereafter moved to Norway um, where I've been ever since and um, have been teaching as a professor since the uh, mid-1980s. Um, I've taught a lot of courses both uh, at the university and uh, industry courses, typically uh, five, uh, five day courses in the petroleum industry. and. Um, during the period from about 1990 to 2004, I had developed a <clears throat> teaching um, procedure where, which I call the dual media teaching. And um, <clears throat> that method basically used uh, two projectors. On the one, I was uh, writing on transparency sheets with uh, pens and um, developing notes for the class and, and um, basically using it as the chalkboard. And the other projector was um, viewing the the screen from my laptop, and that could be uh, used for problem solving using Excel. Um, at the university here, we use a system called It's Learning for having electronic communication with the students, um, searching on Google for various uh, pieces of information during the lecture, um, using uh, pre-created uh, PDF visuals, maybe PowerPoint presentations, though I... <laughs> try to stay away from using those very much. And, and then also showing how to use uh, software applications for engineering calculation. So all of that was done with a kind of a dual, um, a dual projector system and uh, had to have two screens and it was fairly heavy to, to both set up and orchestrate but um, that's pretty much how, how I did things for about 15 years. The other um, big problem you could say with this system was that there was a lot going on particularly with the computer viewing and it was nothing being recorded on that system um, and there was no linking between the notes being developed on the transparencies and the uh, what was going on the computer uh, the only uh, record of the uh, lecture might be a uh, if I took the time to make a PDF copy of uh, the transparencies themselves so though it, it functioned and, and I think was fairly well received, it <clears throat> basically didn't provide any, any lasting um, uh, footprint of the, the lectures themselves. That could be uh, reviewed later. In 2004, I was on sabbatical at the University of Oklahoma, and a colleague introduced me to the uh, tablet PC. With the tablet PC, I was able to replace the overhead projector and um, ink pens uh, with writing on the tablet screen itself with a special pen that comes with the uh, tablet PC. Um, the other hardware requirement um, when recording the, uh, the lecture session is an external microphone. For several years I used a lapel microphone with not very high quality and required changing batteries. And another friend uh, recommended uh, the H2 um, uh, external microphone. It cost a couple of hundred dollars, but it is extremely high uh, uh, quality and um, it runs off a of USB, doesn't require batteries. And I found it very useful and it has a, a dual uh, microphone so that it both records in the direction towards me and in the direction towards the classroom so that questions are often captured um, by the microphone even at uh, distances of tens of meters away. So that's a nice um, external microphone solution. And then um, you need a keyboard and mouse um, in order to use other applications than the, um, uh, the tablet uh, system for writing on the screen. It's more efficient and, and um, so I'll Basically, this is the hardware requirement for this uh, tablet teaching system. For software, um, I found a, a very high quality and relatively inexpensive uh, video sound recording system by Camtasia. 
and uh, with that system you get a very um, high quality and, and um, uh, uh, versatile electronic copy and paste system called Snagit. It allows you to basically copy any part of the screen while you're working in any application and easily paste that into the uh, Windows Journal, which is the last piece of the software that's needed for, for this teaching system. Uh, Windows Journal is part of the Windows operating system um, for tablet computers. Now, to set up the the system with the the PC and and uh, external microphone and so forth, it takes about ten minutes before each lecture. And um, after that, uh, one starts the journal, uh, which is in a sense the um, the blackboard or the uh, means to to write notes and make uh, annotations to copy and pasted images. Um, it's like a journal or a ledger. And then um, uh, once that started, I, I push the start bu button on Camtasia to begin recording the voice and everything that appears on the screen. Um, notes are written within the journal. Uh, copy and paste using a, a Snagit uh, from other electronic media to the journal. And there it can be edited or annotated. Um, it's possible to use uh, multiple applications uh, while you're working on uh, de developing a lecture or writing notes and you can go back and forth from application to application, all of this being recorded. And then once you're finished with the lecture, then you simply push the stop button on Cam Camtasia and, and um, a um, file, uh, video file is created. Now. Uh, after the lecture, um, I'll convert the, uh, the journal format file to a PDF format and post that electronically to the students. And then I'll make a conversion of the raw video file format, which for me, the way I've set up the system is an AVI file, um, into a, a much smaller, about one-tenth the size uh, WMV or some other format, um, uh, which using WMV uh, ends up with a file size approximately one megabyte for every recorded minute. And, um, and then that video file is distributed uh, to the students um, via the internet uh, through for FTP downloading.